Okay. A little bit of news this week. Uh, the president signed bills the, the other day extending statute uh, of limitations for investigating the fraud from the COVID money. Now, back in April, we did a piece here, a very long piece, because it needed it, I thought, about how much money was stolen. COVID money. Because we did write checks for, I think, $5.7 trillion when the forever flu hit. Okay, so we can argue about whether that was an appropriate amount. I think it might have been a little high. But what really pisses me off is that so much of it was stolen, and that's what I was talking about in April. Some of these numbers might have been, might be a little out of date since then, but unemployment insurance uh, for people, $872 billion went out the door. They estimate maybe up to half was stolen. The PPP... <laughs> Again, very unfortunate phraseology in that party. <laughs> that was the Paycheck Protection Program. Okay. This was small businesses trying to cover their employees who were now out of work. Um, only a quarter paid wages that would have otherwise been lost. And this is the question I asked back in April, and I'm going to ask it again. It doesn't really make me a conservative, does it, that I don't want to be absolutely robbed blind? Is there some number at which I go, you know what? You are just taking my money and wasting it and letting people steal it. How, I mean, I, I get the... I get the idea that money can never be transferred except in a leaky bucket. I accept that. But this isn't a bucket anymore. It's just a handle. The, the, the issue is the bucket was designed to be leaky. That leaky? Yes. Half stolen? Look, well, th this is what I mean. Government is as functional or as dysfunctional as we design it to be, and government was designed to be dysfunctional. Um, it was never this dysfunctional. No, look, P PPP stands for Paycheck Protection Program, like you said. What that meant was it was supposed to keep people continuing to get their paychecks even as companies had to shut down or lay off workers or whatever. The problem is the government does not know who is getting a paycheck from whom? And who stopped getting a paycheck? The government should know these things because hmm. companies pay taxes. They yeah. pay payroll taxes. Yeah. But the problem is... <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. The problem is government infrastructure sucks. And they're using software that's from the disco era. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. And so what happens is... The databases can't talk to each other, you know, the, the software is really antiquated, so we have to rely on the honor system, essentially, where companies say, uh, look, government, I need this money, I promise you, pinky swear, I'm going to use it to keep people employed. And they, and some of them did, but a lot of them didn't. A lot of them are not real companies. Well, it's we, like, we, it, it's, we're, we're not, we're Americans. I'm sorry, we can't be on the honor system. We I, I just know, can't. I, look, we, other it's countries... Just, it's just not real. Other country, other countries, other countries have figured out how to invest in good government yeah. and state capacity. Germany didn't do this, for example. Germany knows who works for whom, as our government well, should. Of course, Germany. <laughs> and they pushed out the money. They no, pushed really. out the money through firms directly right. to employees. They spent a lot less per employee, and they kept more people employed. If we wanted to, we could invest in good government, but we have systemically decided not to, partly because it's like. Not sexy to talk about but, government IT. Okay. And partly because that way, you know, the right... But well, I, thought the gover I thought the Democrats were the, were the good government party. Why don't they do it? I get it that the Republicans want to strangle it in the bathtub. Yeah. But why, why isn't the other party? And why aren't the Republicans are supposed to be, we're the mean old man to watch your money. Why don't they do their part? Nobody does any of their part that they should because do. Because so, I, you know, it makes me... I, I agree. I, I agree. The, the problem you... is... The problem is... Government is de designed to be dysfunctional, and then Republicans point well, to it and say, aha, it's dysfunctional. It's a terrible advertisement for government. Well, let's you let's can... cut their funding so they're more dysfunctional. This is the it case It makes with me the IRS. a little less excited about the money they're planning to spend. I, you can I agree. say a lot about the, the funding that we just gushed out of this country in March of 2020 and then subsequently again in 2021, February 2021. You can't say that the consequences of rushing money out the door with very limited oversight were not anticipated. Yep. They were anticipated. Yep. We knew that this would be a, a, a font of fraud and abuse and that government would have to come back up and, and clean it up. Prosecutors, this is the Prosecutor Paycheck Protection Act. Oh. And 
Congress. Congress has to engage in oversight here. It's not enough for inspectors general to get engaged and say, well, this agency spent $75 billion on something we don't know where it went. Congress has to go back and conduct its, its proper role of overseeing its own activities. But the money's gone. <laughs> You're not getting the money back. I know. No, and and my concern is when, when there is another crisis or recession, and there will be, the choice will be between, uh, I guess we shouldn't give people the help that they need because look at all the fraud last time, like we clearly didn't know how to get it to the right people, or let's helicopter drop more money and hope that some of it lands in the right place. Because, I mean, that's basically what happened before. Because How did nobody... we get to be this shitty country that we can't do anything? I, I don't know. I, okay, all right. Well, I'm Look, not the happy... investigation into what... Americans have very little tolerance for this. The investigation into waste and abuse in, during World War II made Harry right. Truman's career. Right. Uh, this is the sort of thing that Americans reward. They we can, don't look fondly right. on people who abuse did... the urgent crisis. We did used to be able to do it. Okay.